A curvilinear incision is made on the lateral aspect of the left coxifernal joint, extending along the interface between yeah. the superficial gluteal muscle and the tensor fascia lata, along the cranial leading edge of the biceps femoris muscle. Electrocautery is used to stop small cutaneous bleeding. Galpy retractors are used to retract the skin out of the way so the subcutaneous dissection can be performed. A combination of sharp and blunt dissection is used to dissect through the subcutaneous fat. The division between the superficial gluteal muscle and the tensor fascia lata is dissected. A Gelpi retractor is used to separate the middle gluteal muscle from the vastus lateralis. A Hohmann retractor is used to isolate the neck of the femur. A scalpel blade is used to sharply incise the joint capsule. An oscillating saw is used to make a cut in the femoral neck, taking care not to leave any of the articular cartilage behind. The stifle is pointed vertically in order to facilitate accessing the cranial surface of the femoral neck. Soft tissue attachments to the femoral neck are sharply incised. The femoral head is examined closely to make sure that no articular cartilage remains. Interrupted sutures are used to close the joint capsule. Ideally, the joint capsule should be closed over the acetabulum so there's no bone on bone contact between the femoral neck and the bone of the pelvis. The superficial gluteal muscle is sutured to the tensor fascia lata muscle in a simple continuous pattern. Can I see if you knock down the little puppy? Subcutaneous tissues are closed in a routine fashion using a uh, simple continuous pattern.
intradermal sutures are used to close um, the skin layer using a simple continuous pattern.